Okay, that's perfect, man. I'm just, I'm gonna, this is gonna be quick because we're trying to catch a flight. So, so how's the training camp been going so far? Training camp's been going well, uh, consistent. I'm very pleased with the training camp. <laughs> Couldn't ask for a better situation leading up to a fight of this uh, magnitude. Have you had to do anything different preparing for uh, Canelo than any other fight with Amir? Is there something different because of the size or weight that you've had to focus on? No, nothing's changed other than the fact that um, he knows that he's up against a great challenge, and when the fighter knows that, um, you know, you have a great start. So nothing significant in change of trying to change who he is, but only to enhance who he is and take it from there. So Amir is facing the top fight in his career, and the, you know, Canelo's known for his power. Is there so there's something that changed as far as with sparring partner? Did you get somebody who was good that really matched Canelo's style? Michelle Solo, for example? Well... You know, that, that's an interesting question because when you really stop and think about it, uh, Canelo's only knocked out one 154-pounder, um, and that was James Kirkland. And you can attribute that, a lot of that, to shrewd managing and shrewd uh, promotion. I mean, Kirkland had been inactive for a year and a half, 50, 60 pounds overweight. Um, Eight, eight week notice is not enough time to take off that kind of weight and also be effective when you haven't fought in that time. I mean, so Kirkland was knocked out in the first round by a guy, I can't remember his name, that couldn't even punch. So I don't know how much I can attribute that to power as opposed to just shrewd matchmaking, shrewd picking and getting a guy who had no defense at the time at all. You know, um, same thing happened with Alfredo Angulo, and I know that person. He got a seven-week notice, even though I told him he was going to get the fight. Um, 28 pounds to lose. That's not in Canelo's fault, though. But um, he hit Angulo with every punch in the book, and Angulo never stopped coming forward and never wobbled in the fight. Um, so... Canelo's only knocked out one legitimate 154-pounder who was very inactive, wasn't with the best trainer he could be, 50 pounds overweight, and it took him some big punches to get that guy out of there. So everybody else he's knocked out has been a junior welterweight, uh, Jose Cito Lopez, uh, Alfonso Gomez, people like that. But it, uh, it was nowhere near knocking out Trout, nowhere near knocking out Cotto, nowhere near knocking out Laura. So um, I think I look at the power in a different way. Now, of course, everybody expects him to knock out Amir because they have their own uh, you know, ideas about Amir. Some people feel like he's chinny or whatever. But if you're going to be honest about it, you can't say he's a true power puncher. Final question. You've been on record saying that you didn't like this fight when it was first proposed to you. How do you feel about it now? Um, I'm for the fight now, and that was a natural response um, because it was in its infancy stage. And um, the first thing that came to my mind was size. But after Amir got here, and I saw that, because he was conditioned when he got here, and I saw he was weighing 164, 65, and pretty much at about 75% condition that um, had a lot of influence on me. And then his answer on why he wanted to fight, that um, that also played a major part. So uh, we went into the camp confident. Great, thank you so much, I appreciate it.